Okay, so here we are in Brisbane, uh, Queensland, Australia. Uh, this is my one of my enclosures uh, for my nine graceful or dainty tree frogs. Um, so it's a bio setup, which is very, very easy to keep, basically. Soil, a bit of mulch, some plants, a bit of drainage down the bottom, and water is all you need. Currently and in here, I have one red-eyed green tree frog, who's approximately 12 months old, and there is a small uh, common green tree frog or white tree frog uh, I'm not too sure he might be at the back uh, but he's only small hence why he's in with the gracefuls so I'll show you the rain train bar that I made two days ago these are just some ponds as well that I have and we have multiple gracefuls and marsh frogs and things And the rain chamber. It's down here. So essentially, it's a large storage box. It's 100 litres. If I can zoom in through the mesh, I don't want to disturb them. I might just be able to make it out. Two frogs breeding at the moment. Um, I haven't, there are nine in here. So I don't want to disturb them just yet. But essentially it's a 100 litre storage container. I use a jigsaw to cut out slots on the roof and uh, glued some mesh on top so at least they can get the effects of the rain coming through. Um, I've also cut drainage holes in the side. I'll show you all later um, and then put some rocks and plants and things like their natural environment so it seems to be successful so far but I'll come back later and have a look whether there are any eggs all right so it's been two days now um, I the first night was somewhat successful when I saw uh, two frogs on top of each other however no eggs the next morning so I've put them back in last night we did have quite a bit of rain here um, it's still quite wet now and you see all the gracefuls are bunched up at the top here Let's see if I can get in here without disturbing them too much we're getting them jumping out. Put a bit of extra clips on just to make sure they don't escape. Don't know if you can see down here. Just try and zoom in without dropping my camera. A whole bunch of eggs. Couple of hundred. Um, and I can still see two. These are all my grey holes. So I'm just going to put the, pop the lid back on. So that's all my setup was. Uh, put a plant in for them somewhere to actually hold on to. Don't jump out, you little fellas. only maybe 50 mil of water, 50 millimetres, um, which is plenty because the gracefuls obviously don't like to breathe in too much water and I don't know if you can see, I might have put it in the last video, so I drilled a hole on the side in case it did uh, get inundated with water and at least they won't drown. So, rain chamber success.